Hi there, I'm Wes Olszewski coming to you from uh, Poorly Lit Studios here in my workshop. And this is another episode of Ghost Ships, Gales, and Forgotten Tales. If you've seen these before and you like them, you're going to like this one. But first, I want you to pause right now and go down, click on subscribe. I want you to subscribe to this page. That will help a lot in me making future stories such as these. This is a piece of a shipwreck. This comes from the shipwreck Montezuma, uh, which is half buried, it's actually mostly buried in the Saginaw River's bank, and uh, rapidly being covered over. They're making a park there. But uh, this piece of wood is what we call old growth timber. And the way you can tell old growth timber is by counting the rings. Because in the old forest, before they were logged out, not a lot of sunlight got through the forest canopy. And the result was the wood grew very, very slowly. And that means that the rings on this type of timber are very, very close. If you count the rings on this one, you get 54 per inch on the average. Old growth timber. I have a piece on my wall up here that you can't see right now that is uh, from a shipwreck that washed up high and dry. That one has 79 rings per inch. Old growth timber, that's how you can tell the old boats from the new ones. So, you're walking along the beach and you spot a hunk of something. What is it? Is it a piece of a shipwreck? Or is it just a hunk of an old dock? How do you know? Here's your first lesson. Look very closely at the wood. Is it new growth wood or is it old growth wood? Most Great Lakes wooden vessels were made of old growth timbers. Of course, prior to the mid 1890s, so are most cribs and docks. Still, if it's old growth, at least you know it's wooden ship era old. In order to build your identification skills, we need to learn more about how wooden ships were constructed. Each frame, for example, was made of individual pieces called footocks. These were fastened together with three basic fasteners, bolts, spikes, and tree nails. In this segment, we'll focus on tree nails. Generally, tree nails are long wooden dowels between one and three eighths and one and five sixteenths inches in diameter. They were hammered into pre-drilled holes to peg the wooden components into place until they could be bolted together. The holes were drilled by pure brawn using a hand auger. If you find a tree nail in your mystery hunk of wood, the odds are good you've got a shipwreck. Let's look at this piece resting on Tawas Point. Notice it has a spike. It also has a well-drilled auger hole. And it has a tree nail. Notice the tree nail is about 1 and 5 sixteenths in diameter, or just slightly larger than a U.S. quarter. Notice also that it is made of very old growth wood, as is the piece in which it is set. I'd say this is a piece of a shipwreck, not just because of those characteristics, but because it rests right where the schooner May Queen wrecked and broke up on November 21st, 1859. Now let's take a look at another object. This one has the shape of a vessel, but what is it really? Look closely at the wood. It appears to be old growth. But also look how the timbers are cut to fit to one another. This is called scarf cutting. Scarf cuts are done in much woodworking, but they are key in shipbuilding. Also look at the spikes. There are plenty of spikes. Finally look at the bolts running vertically through the timbers. This is an early method used in building sailing scows. Finally consider the location. This piece is also on Tawas Point, the site where the wreck of the scow schooner Table Rock took place in 1872. We have a shipwreck. And out there in the distance is an intriguing piece. Perhaps more of the Table Rock? 
However, there are very few spikes, and the pieces of the object are fit together more like a log cabin than a boat. Here's where we need to pull out the history book and learn more about the location. When the current Tawas Point Lighthouse was opened in 1876, it was then on the tip of the point and in the water. For that reason, it was built on a base surrounded by a wooden crib and filled with stone. Over the years, the point grew, and the crib was either buried or allowed to fall apart. Of course, those crib timbers were harvested from old-growth wood, but they were not constructed to vessel standards. This piece is not a shipwreck. It is just an old crib.